Hey, this is Ron with Durham's Fine Upholstery, Southern California. Uh, all my videos are under two or three minutes. Keep them short. Hey, today we're going to cover lining your welt when you sew it up. And, and the reason for that, okay, it works really good for thin fabrics. Uh, thick fabrics, I don't worry too much about it, but thin fabrics I do. Um, because when you sew this welt onto your finished product, your finished cushion, you don't want it to bunch up, and that happens a lot. You'll get little wrinkles all along the edge of your cushion, um, and, and I'll show you how I get rid of this. First off, the reason why I line it is your welt cord here is surrounded just by this little net, this little mesh stuff right here. And what happens when you, when you sew this on, when you sew your welt cord on, okay, your needle comes through, and your needle kind of picks up that, that netting a little bit, keeps you from being able to stretch your welt cord out straight okay so when you line your welt and you sew your welt on the inside that it still picks up the netting but the space between your fabric and this and your uh, stretcher here okay your lining that moves all right see how that's stretching out and that'll that'll keep it your cushion when your finished cushion nice and straight all the way across the the edge of your welt line and this is how we sew it up we just pop it in it up like this I take uh, oh, make sure you sew your fabric and the your, your liner on the bias just fold these things flat like so when you get down here to where you need to put a joint in your liner just slide it in like this That's all there is to it. Right there, you get a nice, real nice seam that's just not even noticeable on your finished product. So that's uh, my little video on lining well. Thanks for watching.